assalamu alaikum welcome to my youtube channel in the last topic we have discussed about the cell cycle and we discussed the s phase g1 phase g2 phase and g0 phase and we also learned about the about the two sister carbohydrates and now we discuss about the mitosis it is the cell division uh, in which the cell divided into two the data cell uh, first of all we learned about uh, its uh, introduction in 1880 german biologist walder fleming observed that in the dividing cells nucleus phase through a series of changes which he which he called the mitosis mitosis is the type of the cell division in which cell divides into the two daughter cells each with the same number of chromosome as where the present as where the present in the parent cell it will the cell that are divided it is called the parent cell and the new one cell is also called the daughter cell the mitosis occurs only the eukaryotic cell in the multicellular organism the somatic cells undergo the mitosis prokaryotic cell undergo the process of the similar to the mitosis are called the binary fission they do not undergo the proper mitosis why because uh, the single cell only used to the cell division by dividing itself so it is not going to the proper cell division in this topic we also learned about the somatic cell somatic cell are those which uh, form the body of the organism while the germline cell are those which have, which give rise to the gametes somatic cell undergo the mitosis while the germline cells undergo the meiosis meiosis is another process likewise the mitosis the first we learned about the phase of the mitosis the process of the mitosis is complex and highly regulated there are the two major phases of the mitosis is the division of the nucleus now as the karyokinesis and the division of the cytoplasm is now as the cytokinesis in the in two topics we have discussed first of all the karyokinesis the karyokinesis is the division of nucleus is further divided into the four phases as the prophase the second is the beta phase and the third is eta phase and fourth is the telophase in four topic we have firstly uh, we have firstly learned about the prophase prophase normally the genetic material in the nucleus is in the loose loose thread like form of called the chromatin at the onset of the prophase as we know the chromatin thread like structure likewise in this picture we have seen that the, the chromosome look like the thread like structure and out of the cell is the spindle fiber that is come out of from the centrosomes after that we learn that the after that we learn that the all set of the prophase chromatin cells into the highly ordered structure are called the chromosome as shown in the figure that first of all the chromosomes are the thread like structure and then it convert uh, out of the condensing it is called the chromosome it is the specific shape of the chromosome uh, we have learned uh, we have learned uh, in the past that the chromosome have the two strands one sister carbohydrate and the other sister carbohydrate so this is the genetic material has the already been duplicated earlier in the phase each chromosome is made of the two sister carbohydrates bound together at the same centromere each chromosome also has the kinetic core of the centromere as we learn that the chromosome has the centromere from its center where the two carbohydrates are attached it is called the centromere so each chromosome also has the kinetic core at the centrosome kinetic core is the complex protein structure complex protein structures are also that is the point where the spindle fiber are attached with the each other 
now this topic of uh, the career crisis the first point of the uh, pro phase is completed thank you sir.